Hey everyone, today we're going to be taking a look at the DeWalt DCS-334 Cordless Jigsaw. This up top is the speed control dial, which controls, you guessed it, the speed of the blade. Um, you're gonna use higher speeds for soft woods um, and most wood cutting, and lower uh, speeds for really dense hardwoods uh, so you don't burn out your blade. This here with the lock is the lock, and you can flip it to unlocked and locked pretty easily, and that's the variable control uh, trigger. And depending on how much you depress the trigger with your finger determines the speed of the blade and the control dial determines the max speed if you depress it all the way. Right, so you even have some control in the middle of your cutting. It's not just all uh, the dial up top. And this on the front is going to be the blade release latch. Uh, you're gonna open and close this whenever you're loading or unloading a blade. And when you close it, it locks the blade into place. Um, it's super easy to change blades and I'll show you that in a minute. This is the finger guard, which guards your fingers. <laughs> if you have to put anything in front, some people put uh, blocks of wood in front of their jig to like cut differently or um, I've never needed it because I never put my hand in front of a blade, but just in case. And then this little lever here is the orbital action lever. Uh, so all the way horizontal like that means there's no action is happening. And this is referring to what the blade is doing. And as you click it counterclockwise, it's going to increase the action of your blade. So how much it's orbiting basically. And you do that for faster, more aggressive cuts through wood. All right, but I always leave mine off and in that horizontal position. I've never needed it. I've never needed to click it up. This little lever on the back here is the shoe bevel lever. And now the shoe is that big black flat part of the jig. Um, when you turn this shoe outwards, or like this, the lever, lever, excuse me, when you turn it outwards like that, what it's going to do is, is then you can unlock your shoe. You like click it uh, back, I think. Nope, you click it forward. I can see there on the shoe. Um, you're gonna click it forward and then you can pivot the shoe uh, to, to uh, create, cut at an angle or a bevel, right? Uh, and you can move the shoe anywhere between zero and 45 degrees. And there's like a little marker on the back uh, of the jig that tells you what angle you're at. And so that's for um, cutting at angles like a miter saw could do. Uh, so that's pretty cool uh, that a jig can also mimic like those sort of cuts because, you know, it's not really meant for straight cuts. Um, it's really easy to get curves, but it's really great at curves. Like it's, it can be very delicate for as like kind of rugged as it is. So now we're going to open up the blade release latch and load a blade, right? And I'm kind of at an awkward angle here, um, so bear with me. So you're gonna click it open and then we're just gonna slide the blade in, as you can see, and then make sure it's between um, these two kind of teeth right here. I'll zoom in on it. Right there, yeah. So the blade is gonna sit in between those two notches. Um, and make sure it's all the way in and then you close the latch and then it's in there. Um, I always load the blade um, and unload it when there's no battery in and the trigger's locked. Like just for safety, um, I think like routine equals safety. If you do the same thing every time, you won't ever like cut yourself right, hopefully, hopefully. Uh, and then you just load up a battery on the back when you're ready to go unlock your trigger and you're ready to cut. And see, it's it, it stays in there just fine. And all I'm doing right now is like depressing the trigger a little bit and then all the way. And so you really do have like quite a range of speed just with the trigger alone. Um, and then of course, when you include the control dial, you have lots of speed um, options. 
So here's um, the orbital action lever, right? And if you can kind of tell, as I'm clicking it, the blade is moving. And like the, the part holding the blade is like kind of moving around a little bit. If you can see, there you go. You can see those the thing there that's pushing the blade up and back a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then, like I said, that's controlling the action of the blade or how much it's like, like kind of chewing because like jigsaws don't just cut up and down they like kind of have a rotation to them and that's what that is is the orbit right now we're just going to like cut this like little piece of wood right here right and so you keep the shoe flat like it is now and you just cut straight across and I don't have any action on the blade you can see the lever there is horizontal and you can tell here we go that so it doesn't it doesn't really cut that straight right so it doesn't do a good job cutting perfectly straight there's ways to like mitigate that um i kind of made like a template with a two by four that i um put on a piece of wood like clamp it down on a piece of wood and then push my jig against that and then that that that's how i cut straight with the jig but now that i have miter saw i don't really need that anymore um, but it's really, it cuts really quickly and the jig is great for cutting fast and cutting curves. Um, and this jig I am really happy with. I've really like fallen into just buying DeWalt tools cause that's what low sells and that's who we, all we have here. Um, but if you buy all within a family of tools, then you can use all the same batteries, right? And so I don't have just like a ton of different batteries that are all for one tool and therefore all different chargers and it's a mess, right? Or it can be. Um, but I haven't had any problem with my DeWalt tools so far. Um, also, just to let you know, this isn't sponsored by them. I wish it was, but maybe someday, who knows? Uh, but I really do like this jigsaw. I've had it for a few years now and it was my sole a uh, saw that I had for those couple of years until I bought my miter saw, which is also DeWalt. Uh, but now those are the only two saws I have. Like I still don't have like a circular saw or anything like that. Um, and so I use it all the time because of how mobile it is, how fast it cuts. Um, you can kind of force it to cut straight enough uh, and then it can do angles and things like that. And it's really cool. Um, I haven't had any problems with it. I'm happy with it and I don't think you can go too wrong with a DeWalt jigsaw.